welcome student today i am going to teach you uh, engineering mathematics one max is 3 mcq question it is differential calculus okay the first problem uh, derivative of log sin x with respect to x if you take y is equal to log sin x the question is derivative so dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to log sin x is you know the differential of log x log x differential is 1 by x so log sin x differential is 1 by sin x into sin x differential is cos x so that cos x by sin x is cot x so c is the answer of the problem okay next problem the second question is uh, they are given y is equal to log of 1 plus x square by 1 minus x square you know the formula for log of uh, log m by n is equal to log m minus log n so by using that formula this y can be rewrite as log of 1 plus x square minus log of 1 minus x square now we can differentiate so dy by dx is equal to you know log x differential 1 by 1 plus x square and the differential of inner term 1 differential 0 x square differential 2x minus log 1 minus x square differential is 1 by 1 minus x square into differential of inner term minus 2x because 1 differential 0 minus x square differential minus 2x and now after this in the numerator i can take 2x outside so remaining 1 by 1 plus x square here minus of minus plus 1 by 1 minus x square okay so next 2x into take lcm cross multiply 1 minus x square plus 1 plus x square into 1 1 plus x square whole divided by a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square x square different square is all power 4 and then next i can cancel minus x square plus x square so what are the remaining term 1 plus 1 2 2 into 2 4 so 4 x by 1 minus x power 4 okay so now 4 x by 1 minus x power 4 the answer is a a is the answer of the problem And now the third question the third question actually this is implicit function what is implicit function equation involving both x and y and also it is not easy to separate y for example from this we can form a y uh, equation y in terms of x but it is highly difficult root function will come so now if the equation involving both x and y you can treat it as implicit function so we have a special formula for implicit, implicit, uh, implicit function for the derivative minus fx by fy. So this is the formula. So by using the formula, the given function you take it as f. x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1. Now minus fx, that means differentiate partially with respect to x. x square differential is 2x by a square so that fx is only 2x by a square because when you are differentiating with respect to x treat other variables are constant that is called the partial derivative <coughs> so here y square differential 0 1 differential also 0 and now next uh, fy fy means partial derivative with respect to y y, y square differential 2y by b square so here whole divided by y fy is 2y by b square now 2 and 2 cancel and now after this minus x by a square into denominator of denominator numerator so b square by y so by simplifying this minus b square x by a square y minus b square x by a square y so b is the answer of the problem and this is uh, they are given y is equal to tan inverse root x okay so you know the differential formula for tan inverse fx Ta differential of tan inverse fx is 1 by 1 plus x square 
So now dy by dx is equal to uh, 1 by 1 plus x square into differential of inner term root x differential 1 by 2 root x. Okay, now finally 1 by 2 root x into 1 plus x because root x square is only x. So 1 by 2 root x into 1 plus x. So c is the answer of the problem. And now to find derivative of this function y is equal to x power root x. And now generally if the variable power variable you can you have to take log. Taking log on both sides when you take log log x power m so m log n that formula you can use after that you can apply differentiation so differentiating with respect to x so log y differential 1 by y into dy by dx and now here uv method this is u this is v what is product rule u into differential of log x 1 by x plus log x into differential of root x 1 by 2 root x so now the differential part is over now i am going to simplify the simplification generally root x by ordinary x can be written as root x into root x and now this is remaining log x by 2 root x after this you can cancel one root x okay so after cancelling this 1 by root x plus log x by 2 root x. So here I am going to take 1 by 2 root x outside. If you take 1 by 2 root x outside, 2 plus log x. So this is 1 by y dy by dx. But the question is I want to find out dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to, you take the y in the right hand side, so y by 2 root x into 2 plus log x. So what is y? y is given by x power root x by 2 root x into 2 plus log x. So this is the answer of the problem. Actually the option that is a mistake. x power root x by x power root x by 2 root x actually here 2, 2 is missing. So c is the answer of the problem. And now the expansion of sin hx. I gave already formula sin hx is equal to e power of x minus e power of minus x by 2 and cos hx is equal to e power of x plus e power of minus x by 2. So that test formula. So by using that formula sin hx is equal to b e power of x minus e power of minus x by 2. And now this you know the differentiation of tan x differential of tan x is equal to secant square x. Differentiation, sorry, actually inverse. Differential of tan inverse of x also, you know, that is 1 by 1 plus x square. But differential of tan h inverse is equal to 1 by 1 minus x square. So here c is the answer to the problem. And now these are all parametric form. They are given x is equal to log of 1 plus t square. So dx by dt is equal to 1 by 1 plus t square into differential of inner term 2t. So that 2t by 1 plus t square. And now next y is equal to t minus tan inverse t. So dy by dt is equal to t differential 1 minus tan inverse is 1 plus 1 t square. But the question is I want to find out dy by dx. It is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So take LCM in the numerator 1 plus t square minus 1 by 2t because 1 plus t square 1 plus t square can be cancelled remaining t square by 2t t also cancel so t by 2 so t by 2 is the answer a is the answer of the problem so this is parametric form and now the ninth question is you take y is equal to x e power of x but the question is find <coughs> second derivative so first time derivative uv method 
u into differential of v u into differential of v e power of x plus e power of x into differential of u one so u v method over second derivative is once again apply u v method x into differential of this e power of x plus e power of x into differential of x one plus this differential is again e power of x so x into e power of x plus adding these two two into e power of x so by taking e power of x outside by taking e power of x outside x plus two into e power of x what is c is the answer <coughs> okay so the question is we want second derivative so this is second derivative and once again this is also parametric form uh, i want to find out dy by dx so what is dy by dx dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta so now dy by d theta so this is y sine cube differential 3a sine square theta actually x power n formula n into x power n minus 1 into sine theta differential cos theta by dx by d theta so this is x cos cube theta 3a cos square theta into cos theta differential minus sine theta so now you can cancel 3a and one cos you can cancel so remaining you will be getting sine theta by minus cos theta because denominator is minus so that minus tan theta where is minus tan theta a so a is the answer of the problem. okay so this is the end of the max quiz three so keep practice if you have any doubt please ask me through whatsapp thank you